what is growing on? So we have been having some crazy weather, crazy afternoon rains every single day, and I think we had a tornado here on the farm. I'm actually in the middle of working on that Dunedin project. Um, about halfway through, we're planting it out right now. You guys are gonna see that video soon, but this tornado video might come out first. I just got home, I scoped out the entire nursery. I've looked around the rest of the farm. There's no branches. There's not even a tree knocked over in the nursery. Um, the other chicken coop is doing fine. You could see I'm loading some mulch for a job tomorrow. And this is what I came home to. I'm like, how does this happen? Um, this thing is just like flopped over and, and lopsided. I mean, that one weighs twice as much as that one, I bet. Now I'm guessing possibly because of the panels on the side, that might have had something to do with why it blew over a little bit easier. Um, but what happened here? All right, as you guys can see, I mean, it even ripped the poly panel off the side. Looks like the roof's a little dented. I'm gonna get this thing straightened up, straightened up before uh, I got one of my guys here still, Julian's here, gonna help me get this back up on its feet. But what happened? When I left this morning, the door was shut and I was actually waiting to make you guys another video about the meat birds. Um, I did just get another 50. They're right over here in this coop. I have these other birds I need to get to the other side. I haven't even had a chance for that yet. Gordon's pissed off I'm making a video. And this is what I pull into, so pretty wild. Um, you know, no signs of a crazy lightning strike. I don't see any other signs of tornado around here. And this thing's flipped over. Like, seriously? I don't know how that's happened. I've had these for a few years. We just had a hurricane and it was nothing like this, so wild. So all y'all moving to Florida, you better know that we get crazy afternoon showers here in the summertime. A um, couple inches a day at some point, you wonder when the rain's gonna stop. Um, and sometimes you get weird events like this too. So let me get this thing flipped over. I don't have any idea what happened here, but yes, I did get some more meat birds. Yes, I got some exciting stuff to share around the farm with you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Hold up. All right, so my awesome chicken coops obviously are not Florida weatherproof. I don't think anything is. Nature is a beast. Um, but nothing but happy with these. I do have a little rip in the one roof now. I did lose two of the poly side panels. There shouldn't be two of these coops in here. Um, the only reason I even have it set like this is because this black netting has much smaller holes for the, um, the small chicks we have in here right now. Really even shouldn't even have them out here during the day. I'm kind of probably risking it a little bit, but because it's such a tight area, the goose stays on top of him. He is really like a guardian. I did fix the electric fence. It is working for both pens now. Um, and you can see I've got some free rangers coming up again and we'll be harvesting these in probably about I don't know, eight weeks. So there's just some little guys that got wet today. Um, I gotta get these other hens out of here. That is why I had two coops in here still. I kind of worked the two together, do the other net up. And this is just fresh a couple days ago. These guys just got out here. So those will be gone by the end of the week. Um, and then yeah, I'll probably take off the outside fence and we'll start moving them around. The goal is to move the chickens from the other side of the yard to this area too. So they'll just rotate through this side of the field because I am kind of running out of space. I don't want to run them through the agroforestry system just yet and I want to expand that. So we had a tornado, pretty wild, um, pretty wild. There's not other stuff down. I've had these things for over a year now. I know I've had storms here in the 40, 50, 60 mile an hour range. Um, never phased them before. I don't know what happened. That's why I'm thinking it was a tornado. So wild stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I'm getting soaked. I need to get back to it actually. I have two loads of mulch to deliver today. So tonight, tonight I'm trying to catch up. Um, it's a wet site. My 450 is not a four by four. Um, so I'm taking my truck with a dump trailer just because I'm hoping I can get in and out of there. I'm trying to get caught up. I am behind schedule. It is wet. It is soggy. I got to get back to it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Most importantly, what should we be doing right now? Planting trees, pounding dirt.